Well, as uh, Mary Rose, uh, I mean Mary, can attest, I woke up one morning, you know, I said, do it here. And go, see, no, I'm doing it in Baltimore. No, do it here. And go, what I'm going to do with the help of many other people is build a church. And he said, there's thousands of churches in Louisville. No, this kind of church is not in Louisville. This is a church that will be of a new paradigm, a new church paradigm. And the new church paradigm will be particularly around the family, specifically. If you could, okay. Mm -hmm. I just need the board. Huh? You want me to go either side? Yeah, no, okay. it's going off. So it's <coughs> fine. <coughs> Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it will be called a church family ministry. In most churches, there are bifurcations, there are divisions. There's um, couples, couples with children, singles, children, um, uh, seniors, and most of these ministries are always divided. Okay? They're either all by themselves, doing things by themselves. Okay, <coughs> the whole paradigm here is to have a total focus of a church family ministry. Okay? The reason is they bring all of these together. Singles, youth, and children, couples, couples with children, elder or seniors, and then you have other ministries as men's ministry and women's ministry and other auxiliaries of the church. Why is this so important? Okay, 69% divorce rate amongst African Americans. 69% divorce rate. Listen to the statistic. I have a friend who just did his uh, EDD among African American males. Listen. 50% of African American males across this country will not graduate from high school. Of the 50% that will graduate from high school, only 25% will go to school, to college. Of the 25% that will go to college, only 10% will graduate. That's the way I feel. My people, and I don't mean to exclude anybody else, but my people are not going to make it. That means 75% of the African American males would have a GEDLS in a global market. So, how can I partner with Chad? Chad has a program where he is going to be training young people to do build houses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What goes along with building houses? Welding, construction work. What else? Carpentry. Electricians, welders. Math. Math. Farmers. All the above. All the skilled trades. All the skilled trades. In Jefferson County Public Schools, there is only one or two schools that do that all together. They have abandoned, and I don't mean anything for Jefferson County, but abandoned all the trades, and 75% of these kids will not go to college. <coughs> so how do you do this? You have a family ministry that takes care of some of this situation. Not only that, you teach 
young people how to marry. Okay? Teach them how to marry. Give them some skills. Give them a whole bunch of other things that they need. Which is point of fact, financial assistance, please. Okay? Financial assistance, which is the biggest problem. We have money in the African American community, they just spend it seriously sometimes. Okay? So, how do you save your money? How do you utilize your money? How do um, you save money? Okay? Those kinds of issues. How do you not fight over money? Which is one of the biggest reasons for divorce, as you know. Okay? All of that will be taught in this paradigm. Okay? Also, ethics, morals, spiritual component, and lastly, and lastly, physical things, and I don't mean to be harmed for here, sex. Sex in terms of in a marriage situation. Okay? All right. And I, I'll be finished with this. The last part is, is a, is partnering with uh, Chad. We will put together what is called a charter school. My understanding has been done here, tried to be done here in Louisville in the West End once before. We're going to give you just a short amount one of time minute. and then we've got to leave the room. Yes, one minute. <laughs> okay, a charter school, which with Chad, we will have K through 12, the kids that will not go to college will be filtered into Chad's system early if they already know that, so they can learn the trade. Okay? Those who will not will be trained to go to college. Okay? This reinforces this paradigm over here. The same kids that will be in the school also will be in the church. So you get the ethics, the morals, the spiritual stuff, the physical stuff here, and the financial, all coming through the church. You have a, a, a more well-rounded young person. Okay? This will all, will all be done, hopefully, in the shiny neighborhood. This is the type of vision that we're talking about looking at and partnering with him. So we, my portion would be restoring the family and renewing the church. And I'm sorry for going over time. Wow.